how enthralling can a tiny butterfly be if you are thinking not very let me surprise you if i say that dinus flexibus better known as monarch butterfly is an insect which is poison hungry what would that mean let me know your guesses in the comment section below we would come back to it in a while monarch butterfly is my great and a monarch can fly up to 4345 kilometers with the same weight to distance ratio that would be the same as a robin flying to the moon and most of the way back one of the greatest mysteries of monarch butterfly migration journey is that no monarch making the trip has ever traveled the route before how do they know where to go and how to get there continues to baffle the scientific world when they migrate no single butterfly makes the entire migration on their own it takes 3 to 5 generations it means that when a butterfly starts to migrate its great grandchild usually completes the final leg of their epic migration Even more surprising fact about them is that even though the great grandchild the one who completes the migration the creature that's never been in that country before they can somehow return to the same tree where the great grandparents lived while migrating they lay their little eggs on one specific type of poisonous plant along the way Milkweed is the only leaf picky monarch caterpillars will eat and by eating milkweed monarchs consume deadly toxins how do they live with it how do they cope with it the toxins remain in their bodies throughout their lifetimes the toxins become part of their natural defense system as the predators remain away from them When scientists looked at this on a molecular level they recognized the trick is that they don't actually digest the poison what do they do with it then it's the genetic mutations in their sodium pump gene that have made them immune to it so they are not digesting it but rather placing it in a protective quarantine safe in their bodies a true marvel of nature but sadly these resilient creatures are now an endangered species these pollinators have declined over 90% in the last few decades let's save these amber beauties before they go extinct hope you liked the video in that case don't forget to like share and subscribe and also let us know your feedback in the comment section below it means a lot to us And don't forget to smile to yourself today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.